everybody, it's Elle back for another TTC video for you guys. Today I'm going to do a TTC tag video. So I tag all of you guys. If you are TTC, I would love for you guys to join in on this very cute tag. Feel free to do the tag yourself and even do like a video response from links. I'd love to see other people's tags. All right, you'll see me looking down at my phone occasionally because I do have the TTC tag questions on my phone. Okay, first question. How long have you been TTC? We have officially been trying to conceive for a year. Um, how many kids do you have and how many kids do you want? I have no children right now um, and in a perfect world. Um, when I was younger, I used to want a lot of kids, but now after all the journey we've been through with having trouble trying to conceive, I think maybe I've just, I'm so focused on like just getting one right now um, that it's hard to imagine, but I definitely want that's kind of my magic number. I'd really love to have three kids. We'll see what happens. Um, how old are you and your husband? I am 25 and my husband is 26. How long have you been married? We have been married for three... Yeah, we've been married for three years. I was gonna say like three and a half. Yeah, we've been married for three years and we have been together for eight years. Um, what are some crazy things you do while trying to conceive? Um, hmm. Okay, well, I would definitely say uh, sticking a pillow underneath of my hips after baby dancing to try to, like, make it work better. Uh, the other crazy things I have done is trying to use a menstrual cup, which was a miserable failure for me personally. Um, other crazy things I have done, photoshopping pregnancy tests and ovulation tests to try to figure out what, where I actually am in my cycle um, and try to figure out if I am pregnant. Does your husband know all about the TTC cycle? Yes, probably more so than most husbands or partners because I'm a maternity nurse. So I feel like I am way TMI with my husband most of the time. Luckily, he's like, <laughs> we've had a very TMI relationship for a long time, so I think he's very okay with that. Um, have you been diagnosed with any kind of infertility? No, we have not officially been diagnosed with any kind of infertility. Um, my husband has had a semen analysis, which I think I mentioned in another video, um, but nothing like officially yet. Uh, he has an endocrine disorder, which could affect his fertility. And then in terms of me, uh, I know I have endometriosis, but I don't know any other kinds of infertility. I haven't been diagnosed with anything yet. Okay, what keeps you busy during the two week wait? Not very much. <laughs> um, during the two week wait, I feel like it's hard for me to stay busy, but I would definitely say like the thing I like to do the most is look on countdownofpregnancy.com and look at all like the pregnancy tests on there and like um, definitely looking on there and like seeing all the pregnancy tests and voting like positive or negative or what I think, so dorky. Um, I like doing that and I love watching TTC videos um, and going to the blogs and things like that and kind of trying to keep. Um, I like to, I mean, I know people like trying not to think about it, but I can't help but think about it, so that's what I enjoy doing. Um, what day do you usually ovulate? I usually ovulate on cycle day 17 uh, and as late as cycle day 21. What gender are you hoping for? Oh my gosh, is this really a question? Dude, I'd like, I'd take any baby. Any baby. It doesn't even need to be healthy. I will take any child that God wants to give me. I'm praying and hoping for a healthy child, but I mean, even if there was something wrong, I, I would be happy because I just, I want to have a child and so whatever God wants to give us, I am thoroughly pleased. Okay. How many pregnancy, how many pregnancy books do you have? I actually don't have any pregnancy books. I am actually a maternity nurse, doula, uh, childbirth educator, and uh, lactation counselor. So I probably know way too much about everything related to this stuff and this world. I might eventually get something just like for fun and to, I don't know, read more into it when I actually am pregnant, but right now I don't have anything about that because I have a bachelor's degree in this. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, how many home pregnancy tests do you go through a cycle? I would say average is five. Most I've ever gone through is probably like, sad to say, probably like 
12 because there have been times where I'm like, wait, I don't know if that's actually right or I swear I see something or whatever. And usually I use the cheap ones, but in the beginning of TTC, I did use like first responses and all that stuff. I have not had great luck with first responses though. I've had some really weird evaporation lines. So I'd rather just use the cheapies because they're pretty blunt. So I'd rather just stick with that. And they're cheap, so I don't feel bad about using 12 of them in one second. Have you bought for your baby or pregnancy already? I think I mentioned in another video that I have a little hope chest. It's not really a hope chest. It's this room that I'm doing the videos in, which is technically right now our guest room, but will someday be our baby's room. And as you can see behind me, one of my hope chesty things, as you can see behind me, one of our hope chesty things is over there. So I probably have about five items that are like for our future child. And in terms of pregnancy stuff, yes, I have some pregnancy stuff in terms of like maternity clothes, but they're everyday clothes that I wear on a regular basis that I also bought because I think they'd look cute during maternity. I actually have one of them with me so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I actually think I wore this once in a video. Um, this is one of the, ah, it's like a big, whoops, it's like a big flowy top. And, um, and it actually looks really, really cute uh, over leggings or, you know, jeans, um, cause it's like a big flowy tunic-y top. And I just feel like this would look really cute um, during pregnancy and it's like nice and big and flowy, so it would work. So that's kind of one of my examples. Um, another example is things like this. I know this is like ridiculously bright, um, but it's just like a big flowy, loose top. So I have a bunch of those because I feel like every time I go clothes shopping I like buy things thinking is this gonna work for a pregnancy too because I don't want to just buy it and then not be able to use it. Um, what themes or designs do you like for a nursery? I think I talked about this once before. I like the idea of like not having a set theme but having like a subtle sailing theme. Not nautical but sailing because me and my dad love to sail together and it was like our bonding thing and so I really hope that someday our kid enjoys sailing and that that can kind of be like the next generation type of thing. So, um, do you plan to do pregnancy vlogs? Yes, I would love to do pregnancy vlogs um, and I will definitely do those. If I do, I'm not expecting. Uh, who are your favorite moms to watch on YouTube? So I watch Kendra B, I watch uh, we to 3 Sorry, um, I watch the uh, I watch Missy uh, from like Daily Bumps and Bump Dates and things like that. Um, I watch Someday Mama occasionally. Uh, let's see, I also watch Ellie and Jared. Um, and one of my favorite ones is Devin, Devin Roberts' family. You guys were one of the first TTC vlogs I ever watched. It's a special place in my heart for you guys. And if you're ever in the Boston area, I would love to do a collab with you. So let me know. Um, see who else and then there's also I also watch um, Ayla and Caleb and I also watch Matt and April so if any of you guys are watching this please let me know because I think that would be super cool if you guys you know wanted to like message me or whatever and like I said do a collaboration or whatever I think that would be super cool I'd love to meet you guys in person um, just because I feel like I've been walking with you guys and it's what inspired me to make a TTC vlog myself and do I have a birth plan? I don't currently have a birth plan. I have a vague idea of what I want my birth to look like, um, but I'm not 100% settled on things yet. I think it's gonna definitely depend on how like the pregnancy goes. This is such like, a weird thing to think about so far ahead. But anyways, um, I'm just so focused on like trying to get pregnant. I can't imagine the thereafter. But, um, but anyways, I, I think it depends on how the pregnancy goes, if I'm low risk, high risk, whatever. I'd love to give birth to the midwife. Um, there's a great birth center that I think would be awesome that's like connected to a hospital. Um, but that's kind of the vague idea I have. I'm not really 100% sure about a lot of things uh, until I actually am pregnant. Um, and I'll have to talk to my husband about it and see how he feels about certain things in regards to the baby. and and all that. I do know from my education and from research that there's certain things I definitely want to do and things I definitely don't want to do. Um, like personally, I probably won't circumcise my child. Um, and you know, I, you know, there's certain medical things that I think are important. But anyways, that is the gist. If you guys have any questions or you guys do the TTC tag, I would love to hear from you all. And that's it for now, guys. Bye.